Hello. Don't mind me, I am uh <laughs> working on things. And before downloading again? No, okay. I already downloaded. I don't know how loud this needs to be. Holy shit, I'm opening a new gen Pokemon game. Just find the right volume setting. Yes, English, please. Yo. Basic bitch time. Oh boy B. Changing my hairstyle before the game starts? Insane. Ooh, I like it. Oh hey, it's the bear haircut. Perfect for bear. Pretty good for me. This is also pretty fitting. Okay, I gotta make a decision. You look. This is feasible. This was like a little longer in the back. I probably would have done. If this was fluffier, I'd probably do this. Why is the cut in the back of this one bad as hell? It's so choppy. The bangs are accurate for me though. that one that was like Let's go. Let's see. having purple eyes.
Yo! It looks so weird. I like it though. customization in this game is great. It really is. I'm uh, gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Thanks, man. You have a good day. You can just straight up have, like, blue eyebrows. <laughs> Bye, bear. Bring me back lots of candy. You can have a cap smile! There's a few different cat smiles. like this. I don't like like lipstick colors like this stuff is wild but like when it just looks like uh like the skin color it looks a lot more detailed and I like it. Very many uh like Beauty marks. I don't need beauty marks. Oh, you got freckles! I can't wait for my friend to play this game. Oh, goodness. Light blue with gold pupils? Holy shit, this is sick! You know, you can just have cartoon eyes. Holy shit! This is awesome looking. Sure, I want like the hair. Eh, I think I'll feel better about it if I get glasses in the game. Let's go!
Hey! Time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. Nice. <laughs> Director Clavel, head of Uva Academy. Aldea is a sprawling region, bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Baby. Pokemon can be found living all over in the seas and the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Google Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon to battles going alongside them. Oh, what the fuck? Tauros? While well, a robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Uva Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Sick. Let's go! I'm so happy. Game's probably really loud, huh? There we go. Turn it down. Th this is probably better. Oh shoot. I'm jetpacking around. What the fuck are those? What are those? Oh, this is good tea, by the way. I made some good tea. Mm, tea. <laughs> get up. I don't want to get up. Your mom built these shelves herself. They're nearly they're neatly decorated with your belongings. The hoppip plant. Today on Sidiuda Adventures, we'll see Mezagoza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. 
It's a Nintendo Switch! This one's got a bigger screen! It's a map of the Paldea region. This house would be down- uh, this house would be down in the lower part. It's a very own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon stickers. Nice. Something I would do for real. It's your soft fluffy bed! It's got a lovely sun warm scent! Jealous. It's a school event plush made with care using nice soft material. Can you just sit over here and like read? That would be comfortable. This painting is entitled Stretching Woman. It's enchanting. Windmills and sky, you can almost feel the invigorating breeze. It's one of your mom's house plants. Careful not to knock it over. I feel like they've probably done it before. These cardboard boxes sure are heavy for being so small. What could be inside? This painting is entitled Before Juicing, it just emanates freshness! That's funny. This artwork is entitled Patchwork Light. It's got a different colors of paper pasted together. It's a big plant and a big vase. These are flo There are flowers blooming in it. That's your mom's room. Better not go in there without asking! This painting is entitled Street, Midday. It depicts a beautiful town in a different region. A. It's Squavit's bed. There are drool stains on it. Come on down to every which way, every kind of sandwich, any way you want it. Our subs are, our subs are handmade by pros and perfect for picnics. Dude, that sandwich looks so good. Do I have to turn off the TV? This room is just for storage, yeah. Okay. I couldn't figure out how to, like, exit being zoomed in over there. Hi, Mom. Good morning, Sen. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, this is your first day at your new school, after all. I'm so excited for you. Silly, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for, Sen. Get the door, would you? Squabbit noises. Do forgive the intrusion. You are Miss Sen, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I'm the director of Uva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire Academy, including any failures on its part. So here, at last, are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really didn't even have. Since you've come all the way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Then I've got a thing or, or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back to your room and finish getting ready for school? You need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a, for a cuppa this way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? These are, uh, pretty good graphics for inside your house. Wonder what the world looks like, and I hope that the graphics are equally as nice.
Just look at you already for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our, st our storied academy suits you quite well. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something for you, Miss Sun, a most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing must be. Let's follow the director out and see. Okay, mom. Ah, uh, hair clipping. Alright then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. Give me my sprig. We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Brigatito, the grass cat. Baby. Wait, Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. They're all very good company, why they usually refuse to le even leave my side. What's this? It turns out they're more interested in you, Miss Sen, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at that house just over there. Take your time with the decision, then come find me once your d mi mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me until we meet. What a manly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. Hey, You put the Rotom phone in your bag's key in his pocket. It's a brand new phone! According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go! Bye, Mom. What? You just go on a little walk. Look at him wobble. <laughs> I'm squatting on him. And they're gone. 
Are these three are, are you these three's trainer? Not quite, Miss Senna's yet to make her choice, you see. I do wonder which of them she will choose. Buenas! We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Miss Sen. She will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Yes. Love that enthusiasm. We're going to get along just fine. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now. You and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class. You'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates? Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Miss Sen. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? <clears throat> Frig! That's Burritito, a grass type Pokemon. It can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with the good grass types Pokemon, Sprigatito, here? Yes. You chose Sprigatito. Would you like to give Sprigatito a nickname? Yes. Brig. Yay! Sprigatito obtained. No. Sprigatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Miss Sen. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safe inside a Pokeball. Sam, I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. I mean, like the <laughs> way to make a perfect choice for you. You two will make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Dr. Clavel? Oh, but you did not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Sen while she raises her own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Miss Sen here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! <laughs> Since Sun chose Sprigatito, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Quaxley. Welcome to the team. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Mr. Mona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Goodbye, play Coco. Alright. 
Alrighty, let's see. These aren't like bad trees. Well, the environment looks good. I like the environment. It looks fine. Oh, hi. Just like zoomed into the eyes real fast. <laughs> okay. Um I guess it could be like better for the switch, but it doesn't look like god awful. I do really hate like blurry mountain texture though. I feel like Breath of the Wild was pretty good at like, not having blurry mountain texture. I think blurry mountain texture is something that always bothers me. Ooh, neat. Yes, Rotom phone. Interesting. No! Oh. Oh! Hey, this is neat. You, you like pick out your phone? No more like loading the menu and stuff. You just open up the phone. That's neat. <sighs> I'm tired. Hi, Nimona. I like this field. This field looks like a pride flag. Anyone can have a Pokemon trainer as long as they have- Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you ready to battle me? Perfecto! I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use... This Nimona. I trust you remember that Miss Sun is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Heh, whoops, good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new poet buddy instead. Come on, son, let's have a fruitful battle. Nice. I know this is the first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. I like these, uh... These, like, UI choices. Oh, and check status. Oh! Oh! I mean, you can't possibly, but, like, interesting. Okay. Neat. Ooh, she like mentions what you've done. I kind of want to use Scratch and see what else she says. Okay. Not bad, neighbor. Nice. She's like, here's three dollars. Look at you, winning your first Pokemon battle ever. You've got more potential than I thought. You're gonna be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. Miss Sen and her Spurgatito are surely weary already from that last battle. Ah, oh, sorry, I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, son. Same to your Spigotito, too. Don't worry about it. Alright, thanks! 
You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure she can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Well, that reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. She just pokes the phone. Pokex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. Where is he from uh, Legends Arceus? It's quite the age we live in now. Oof, filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take! I think this is a reference to Arceus. <laughs> oh no, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the times change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is truly a timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Demona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your partners. Could it depend on you to miss that uh, to see Miss Sen to the Academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave it here her in your capable hands. Alright, little one, it's time for you and I to be on our way. <laughs> Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Alright, speaking of Pokedexes, Sen, you're probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. <clears throat> so minus is for that. Sick. They look like little like magazines. <laughs> they look like magazines. It's weird. They have little pictures though. That's so cute. Look at this boy boy. Oh, the habitat. That's cool. You know, if they had a habitat. Oh, I love this baby. Oh, you you do it like a slide. If you like, whoosh. that's cool. That's a nice little touch. You go whoosh. sneaky. These stairs, they load in kind of weird. They look like they have sand on them here. They like, they like blends into the sand here. And then you go on them and they're just like stairs. I'm like over analyzing the details of the textures. Oh, these are cool. I like these. These trees. Free potion. Free antidote. You do make like a uh, stepping on water noises if you step on water. That's cool. Oh, Sen. I hear that Nimona here will be talking, taking, uh, talking to your school, taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. They've already managed to make a friend. 
And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your, add in your new friend Nimona and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. You obtained sandwich from mom! Fantastic. Excellent. Uh. A dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these, too. Three potions. Use some of those precious little partners of yours should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all in the good times and the hard times, too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Well, all right, then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Your brother's so nice, son. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch Pokemon. Come on, vamos! This way! Looks at the ground textures. They're not bad. Ooh. Sign. Like, I'm just, like, fascinated by the textures. Alright then, this here is Poco Path. It's about the least to adventure for you and me. I hear there are different Pokemon than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one, you'll have to battle, but you got Sprigatito for that, right? And if you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use... A good old Pokeball! I've got tons, have a few! The device for catching wild Pokemon. It's thrown like a ball out of Pokemon, comfortably en en encapsulating its target. Oink, oink. Oh, good luck! Time for some le learning we're doing. Try battling this Lechonk, Sen. Okay, come here, Lechonk. Get in the ball.
The chunk. The chunk's data has been added to the Pokedex. Would you like to give Lechonk a nickname? Yes. Your name is now Pumba. All their books. That's why they looked like magazines. That's funny. That's cute though. That's awesome. You got the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crying when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, I have some more Pokeballs just in case. Damn, she's nice. I'll take them. Weaken the Pokemon, then start the Pokeball. Remember that and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. The Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are up in the trees or flying high in the sky. Their little animations are really nice. How do I like, uh... That's how! to catch this hop hip Hophip's data added. Outside of cold regions, Hophip can be found particularly everywhere. This is because the wind carries their species all over the world. This is fun. I like the book thing. Hello, what are you? Oh! These things are creepy. Tarantula! Horrifying! I like the f seeing from under the map. Okay, that was awkward. The thread it secretes from its rear is as strong as wire. The secret behind the thread's strength is the topic of ongoing research. From its rear. It's wrapped itself in butt thread. I mean, I know that's what spiders do. They, like, make it come out of its rear. But it, like, it, like, cocooned itself. So it's wild to me. 
It's a girl, so I'm going to name it Muffet. We got any flying buddies? Yeah, I don't want to fight the Hopip. Oh! Hello. This is awkward too. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder to repel enemies. It will eat different plants depending on where it lives. Alright, we're flying buddies. Dude, free items. Oh, I didn't see you there. I like how the little chunk is scared. It sees a Pokemon being caught and it's like, no, please, not today. I I have a family. The pads of its paws are electricity discharging organs. Palmy fires electricity from its forepaws while standing unsteadily on its hind legs. I like <laughs> this game feels a little awkward. <laughs> no, I killed it. I like how just seeing the like confused Pokemon behind me with the question mark popping up over the battle. I need a new Fletchling. Where's the new Fletchling? Oh, that's a lot of hop hip. I do like how expressive they are and like they they act out like like animations and interactions with like the world in a sense. It's hard to explain. They move around realistically. You're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Let me see, so far you've caught. Mysterious cry. Whoa, what was that? I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could it be some strong Pokemon or something? 
I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around. Just be careful. It's kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. You can head this way later. Okay. I mean, like... Man, so many free items. Item! Can I slide down this cliff? Yes! All right, where do you want me to go? It's not like I can like go up there. Maybe there's a way around and I can slide down the cliff. I don't think there's a way around. I need a new fletchling too still. Oh, hi. Bag. Pokeball. Throw. Woo. Yay! 
both rural and urban areas. They once had a huge territorial dispute with Squawkabilly. Fights broke out all over town. Squawkabilly! Lord. Ah! It's a big boy. Oh, your Rotom phone stops you from falling like that? That's cool. That's what she meant when protects you. That's- that's really cool. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be weak. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. You want the sandwich? Eat the sandwich! My child! It's like that cursed meme that's like... Have this, my child, and then the thing is like, Thank you, you have saved my life. Jetpack. It just floats off. It's so funny looking. Be my friend. Sun. Oh, that makes sense. There you are, Sen. You okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. Oh, if you've gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. 
No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've got to just find a way to climb out of here. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling. With one of my Pokemon's moves. What's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kind of seems like it's waiting for you. Do you want? Does it want you to follow? Well, that was amazing. Pokemon might be as strong as mine. That's funny. Nice. Wicking hours, searching endlessly for food when Yungus is hungry. Its ferocity gains a certain edge. Horrifying. guarding up there. Hello, Diglett. Its skin is very thin. If it's exposed to light, its blood heats up, causing it to grow weak. Oh no! What is Bear messaging me? Silly bear. That's a lot of doggies. A 
Pa 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 pa. Um, Pokemon violence? Yes, yeah, seems right to me. Hi, Frost. Glad you could make it. I might see an item over here. Yes. It's trying to pulverize that rock. Okay, how is Nimona, like, seeing this? She's not, like, following me. She's, like, all the way at the start. She can't see this. Extreme story while I have PE lessons. That's why I'm a little late. That's, I mean, that's, like, I'm not here to interrupt school. <laughs> Something's coming. Oh, no. <laughs> College is school. <laughs> behind you, it's behind you. Oh. Chekhov's Houndoom. This Houndoom's gonna kick my ass. This Houndoom is gonna kick my ass. Bruh. It's level 40. It's calling up the reinforcements. The reinforcements! The dog army is here! The puppers! The puppers are attacking! Clapping. The fucking. <laughs> Where'd it go? For a second, I thought you were both goners. Up. What's wrong? Maybe it used up all its powers? What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? Hard to say. You can't tell either, huh, Sen? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow look perfectly in sync facing down that Houndoom. No, we did not. Well, you didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Okay, looks like it perked up a little. You think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh man, oh man, this one. This, the more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become a trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch and we somehow get separated again. And here, this will let 
Teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Swift? Who the fuck wants Swift? I think before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. We're so late for school though. Hi, buddy. <gasps> Why is that guy looking in the window? Why that little... His face! He was like pogging. What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off! What the hell? I will kick this guy's butt. Wait, I know you aren't you, Arvin. You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo? Doesn't matter who my dad is. His hair clips through his nose. When his hair moves, it just slides through his nose. Why? The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here, and what is what this form it's in. I'm at the bottom of this cliff. Did we heard the strange crime we tried to investigate, but Sen fell off a cliff. The Pokemon saved her, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yes, it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Raiden takes battle, and that's its true form. Maridon? Is that the Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Maridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can cop to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? Pokemon is it? Porkemon. I'm slurring my speech so much. You think you're after ordering Maridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Yeah, okay. Yeah, well look at you, quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all sorts, all, all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these dull drums away. Who the fuck is this guy? These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. What is this guy? He's so edgy! Fuck you. Fuck you and your squabbit. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Yeah, to spam my strongest attack. Which is bite. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Oh, <sighs> Well said, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> but if you really think you can take my ride on off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Brute, even. You put my ride on's Pokeball in your bag of key items pocket. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. Wish I had a symbol on it. That would be cool if it was, like, special. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine! Holy shit. 
Oh, oi, can you not hear me or something? Fine, by the way. I couldn't even read it. It went by too fast. What a weirdo. My brain cannot keep up. I am tired. Oh. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. I thought she was just gonna straight up be like, I'm gonna wring his neck. Then it really would be Pokemon violence. But alright, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. What if we held hands at the lighthouse? Ha ha, just kidding, unless... <laughs> oh god! Do you see that? It's horrifying. <laughs> this was such a jump scare. <laughs> I'm gonna like... I'm gonna leave it looking on this while I go and like boil hot water for tea. <laughs> Okay, I gotta go on. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> I can't. If I can't. <laughs> I can't look at this anymore. <laughs> oh my god. That's Mesagoza. That huge building with a Pokeball on it. That's our school. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class. But all that school work! We're gonna get to learn so much and battle so, so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up there? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature, stuff as far as the eye can see. You know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon! So that's my, me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea! It's kind of a hike to get to school from here. So I get to Lost Plateaus for starters, so that's right on the way. Oh my lord. 
It was a funny. <laughs> Keeping on the lookout for new Pokemon. Ba -ba -dum. <gasps> Where am I going? Where did she go? This way? No. Why did I get too close? Wow, I'm really bad at this. Oh, I'm sorry. Rita's here. <laughs> it's just in town. Okay. I don't really feel like battling you. Bye. Is this just... Is there... I'm... I'm already lost. Neat. Actually, I kinda do wanna put that orange berry on my sprig. Oh, here we go. I'm a buffoon. You wanna battle me? Okay. You're but a wee lad. You're so small! absorb like taking candy from a baby ooh small a small look at this tiny baby
Hill's packed full of nutrients. Aww. Tea. Real quick. More and more tea, please. I gotta stay awake. obtained hot hot he hot ah hot, 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 hot truly this is boiling water fuck hot I want my spoon <laughs> I want to stir the sugar frick frack hot, 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 hot. <laughs> damn it I want my spoon I got, I got my spoon, I got my spoon, I'm not dropping it, even if it burns my hand. Damn it, I dropped it! <laughs> I just want to stir my boiling goddamn hot tea. I didn't, I shouldn't have used leafage. I murdered it. Fuck, I can't, it's too hot. Too hot. Too, ah! I have obtained- I'm not dropping the damn spoon. <laughs> I got the spoon! Spoon obtained! Jesus Christ. Hello, LaShawn! I want a Psyduck. PNG tuber model triggered because I'm stirring my freaking tea. Okay. It's done. No more burning my hand because I'm trying to stir tea. The tea has been stirred. Look at the little side oak sleeping. He's like underneath the tree having a nap. It's wholesome. If it's chronic headache peaks, it may exhibit odd powers. It seems unable to recall such an episode. Damn, it's a boy. I don't want to add it to my party now. Where'd the buizel go? 
Come here, Buizel. No! Oh! I want Buizel. Is this evolution gonna be grass dark? I ask hypothetically and not not actually asking. Don't answer that. Okay. Uh All right, Buizel, come here. adorable. Oops, I used leafage. Fuck. Murdered. Alright, I need a weasel. You! And the water is so funky. It's making me like dizzy. Completely ditching my like goal, my like destination goal. Yas, I see you. This looks so weird. Oh, what is happening? It's a. <laughs> oh, it's an entirely own thing. It looks like Diglett, but it's an entirely own thing. Entirely different species. The resemblance seems to be a coincidental result of environmental adaption. Wild! I thought it was like a Paldean farm. It's its own Pokemon. That's interesting. I 
Triwinkle. No, I didn't want to run. <laughs> it's so fucking upset. <laughs> it's like, are you gonna battle me or not? Okay. I really do like the books thing. It's a nice thing. I'm tired. What if what if magic are You're gonna have to scramble back out of the water? I can just drown. I can reach the magic card from here. Obtained. It was stronger in the past, and then the descendants were horribly weak. My lord. That's so sad. No, I don't want to put it in my party. Nope. Found the water. I can't swim, apparently. Oh, hi. Hey, everybody. Goodbye. I think I caught all the Pokemon I can reach. Come on, let me up. Rude. Poop bloopers. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's the do it's the dope Pokemon over there I want. It's dangerous for Wooper to travel alone. They li line up in groups of three or four and help each other as they walk around the wetlands. Wholesome. Poison ground. That's such a unique typing. I like it. Aw, their picture is cute.
They'll tell me a secret. They're so weirdly feminine for, like, a child. A small child. They're, like, acting really effeminately. It's interesting. Oh, I'm still poisoned. They're crying. That's not a secret. Fuck you. Small child. I want this. But oh. Oh. Fast tech speed, please. And automatic boxes is fine. Turn auto save off just in case. Uh, working on the area. Um, oh, I want to catch this. I'm gonna use this. There. Good, excellent. The yeast in Fido's breath is useful for cooking. This is how this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. Yes. yawning. It likes to sing, but it's not yet good at it. God. Ain't that relatable. Please, heal me.
Well, I didn't come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon, but I'll do the explanation to the pro pros. To the plows. I mean, you have service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on the left is the Pokemon counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. We appreciate. We accept payments both in cash and in league points. This is the technical machine machine. TM machine. No! Technical machine machine! The TM machine. No! No! <laughs> I forgot you can like make TMs. I love that these are cheese and swords. I got a lot here, house so. Cool. You can't go train us to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for your quizzes at school. But. Minomonix Mino Min Min help out. Here's another one. A fucking weird word, but I get it. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items laying around. Or go battle on its own. Or other stuff like that. Yeah, I've done that. Trust me, I've done that. I kind of don't like that they've made Nurse Joy, like, just a counter maid. When they- when they had, like, their own building, it was, like, a- a, a vet clinic. It was essentially a vet clinic. And they were, like, doctors. They were vets. Here is just, like, she's a counter maid. And just takes your Pokemon, puts them in a machine, and gives them back to you. I mean, I know that's what she's always done in the games, but there was like a lot more implications that Pokemon centers were like ho big hospitals. And now she's just a counter maid and wears like really gimmicky counter maid clothes like she's running a goddamn pretzel stand at the mall. <laughs> Let's see. Interesting. Yes. Oh my god, this looks amazing! Teriyaki! This dish is secretly very popular with the sweet and salty sauce bringing many repeat customers. I'd probably like this. Not gonna lie, this looks fucking delicious! I kinda want mango.
Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the clipping every time. Oh. I just wanted the ice cream. Can you not go in houses anymore? I kind of don't like that. And Taurus looks awesome. Taurus's design looks like a design that Taurus should have had to begin with. Going on a walk? My followers are gonna love this! Well, you are with a deer and deers are good. This dude has a design. Kind of wild. What up? Hi. Yep. Sure can. Doris Cat, can I reach you from here? On the water. <laughs> that's a long loading screen for like slipping into the water, by the way. That's kind of annoying. But I guess it's my fault for falling in the water constantly. Oh, babies. They're so tiny. So baby. Good job floating, Sprig. The book thing is exceptionally cute though, I really like the book thing. Oh? Get 
Give him a gold coin. Interesting. Hi. I just want all the items. Make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle, Jesus. You're like on the clock, my guy. <sighs> oh, the map! <laughs> this, this game feels a little rushed, but that's unsurprising. is good. I guess, I guess I delivered you a win! Damn! You got me, dude. I need to get, like, comfy. I'm, like, slouching. Need to- oh, oh. <laughs> This is- ah, this is better. Let's do this. Move microphone. Yes. Well, this way I hurt my shoulders less. Pokemon League rep. You can defeat four trainers here in area one of the South Province. There's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far you defeated three. Okay. Stitch in time saves nine. Do some shopping at the Pokemon. Better be prepared than not, I say. Emotes? Emotes? I can't use emotes right now. Dang. Oh yay, son. Like I'm talking to my friend Luna. 
I wish you could name the rivals. I would have named her Luna. <laughs> Did you battle some trainers on the hill, but your Pokemon are getting stronger? How about you show me how all you've learned in a battle? Sure thing. Nothing like having a, fr a friend around so that you can constantly try to fight me. With two Pokemon this time? Okay. You really work with your type matchups, I can tell the battle you want to win. Yeah, I'm gonna kick your booty. Cheerio wants to learn poison powder. Sleep powder? No. You're legit, she says. Ace in the hole. Pardon? The light bulb! Look how hard it hits. In interesting. It didn't hit that hard, but okay. There we go. Can't believe how fast you're improving. Yeah, it's almost like I played this game before. I played, I played Pokemon. Terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff. Hell yeah, I'm fucking fantastic. I'm a god. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives. Mr. Ghost is waiting just past this gate, at least the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon.
People here must have legs of steel. Alright, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mesa the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a long trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first? The hair salon. Oh, you're a fashionista, are you? Or maybe you just want a practical dude that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon, too. It's a few things that's got to get done before for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have to look around the city for a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendations, you've got to see Delibird pres Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of a school. Just be ready, the stairs up to the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Jesus. I mean, at least climbing up the stairs to school every day is exercise in itself. Are star shapes, uh, shades popular at the school? I saw a group of students all wearing them. Lord. This food has no right to look- th This lemon soda! Has no right to look this delicious! This quesadilla! What the fuck? <laughs> they have no right! Absolutely no right to look this delicious! I'm like, I'm gonna show my friend Luna. Yeah. Hang on, I'm, I'm messaging Luna. I'm <laughs> Also, I want... I wanna like... <laughs> I like honestly just wanna like... Eat or drink something for the sake of it, even though it has powers that I don't need. I'm messaging Luna. Food in Pokemon has no right to look this goddamn delicious. Okay. Hello, children? Ah, not again. Stop! 
It's so delicious! Ah, I'm hungry now. Hello. I'm completely lost trying to boot up the old map app. Same. Cases. Let's go! Oh, Sprigatito case! Holy shit, though. I kind of want a purple one, though. Ooh, lavender. Lavender looks kind of pinkish. I'll buy them all. I'll buy all the ones I want. Yeah. I do be wanting to give this uh, miracle seed to Sprig. Uniforms are so cool, said no one ever. I did not know that. That is indeed interesting. Oh, da, 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 da. I was thinking real hard. I researched sandwich recipes. You look like the kind of guy that researches sandwich recipes.
Oh my god, please. I want a sandwich. Sneaks up on this family. Yo, this guy is eating a giant fucking sandwich. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, lemon gelato! What the fuck, that parfait looks so good! The Salisbury steak! I'm hungry. Jesus Christ, I want this food. I want that lemon gelato really bad. Or you just... That's the hair salon. I kind of want to go over the hairs again. Vegeta. Close. So I maybe oh I can get glasses eventually. Good. I can sell these TMs. <gasps> glasses. Glasses. Oh, I want glasses. 
is yes. Yes! It's me! I want! Thank God. Finally have glasses. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Do you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. I'd rather not. Huh? You want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you- we'll get to you next. We nearly got one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? No. Another ignorant little nobody. Here, I'm finally part of Team Star and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. We can't just let something like this slide. We don't have our teams on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle. That's true. You keep watching that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. We're both wearing glasses. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this little fucker? What is, what is this? What is a shrewdel? What the fuck is a shrewdel? I want to see this guy more close up. I definitely need to like look at this. Oh my god! It looks like a derpy like weird version of Snom. Thanks for the money, I'll use it to buy a new backpack. No way she beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Oh, it's that student council dweeb. You gotta report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, son. You don't have to go fight, go fight randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need. With me! It was these Team Star punks. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that the wrong way. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people to signing up again, weren't you? We weren't. Not, uh, we, uh, not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also a perfect chance for you to try to ama my amazing ultra rare gift for you. You obtained the Terra Orb. You put the Terra Orb in your bag's key item's pocket. You can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Sprigatito will be a grass type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of those Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now time to give it a whirl. You'll all learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained it for you. You want this kid to practice wailing on us for their Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. And take your places in battle.
Boop. Plus, I have Miracle Scene. Bonk. Yep. Scatterbog is evolving. I like that you get to have a background for it. Pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. Moves of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different than its usual type. The difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at the Pokemon Center after every use by healing your team up, though. I'll be on my merry way then, yeah! Hasta la visit Vistar! Me too, hasta la Vistar. I can't believe they say that. I can't believe they fucking say that. They hardly ever show up to class when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, for what I hear. Excuse me. Oh, I love her, she's so cute. I just, well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. Anyway, look at you, Sen, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though, love that fluff. Anyway, it seems like the trouble's died down, so we better look it up at school. You're ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Hang on, I want to buy a backpack. Oh, jeez. <sighs> People like phasing in and out of existence. <laughs> oh no! The phasing in and out of existence gets me. Yep, I knew that one.
I messaged my friend Luna. <laughs> How they say Asta la V star because they're team star. And she's like, I fucking hate them. <laughs> I'm like, same. <laughs> ah. This isn't the store I wanted to be at. I want a backpack. <laughs> I put a marker on the backpack store around here. Are these are these hats? Fuck the backpack store. Oh my god, you take so long to roll uh, to load. Ooh, yes. Give me purple. Yes. Yes. Excellent. You want people to notice your hair? What's so great about your hair? You got like a swoop? Can uh, go over the hair options again. Oh, geez, never mind. Let's go even shorter. It can't go any shorter. All them books. The shrewdle. I forgot it existed. God. I still want a backpack, though. Are those socks? This, they're getting me with the clothes. I like clothes and games.
Okay, I don't like the sporty ones. The floral ones aren't bad. Honestly, There's a backpack store. Oh, they're so expensive, right? I wanted a new backpack, but oh well. There are lots of Pokemon, different Pokemon at the school and you're part of the variety. Aw. This guy. I like this guy! Send. Welcome to Uba Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me and those halls to the sides. Lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Jesus. <laughs> Miss Sen, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Sen? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did what? Where? The phasing in and out of existence of the Fletchling. In the, in the corner of my eye, I just saw them phase in and out of existence and flap it like two frames per second. <laughs> it was down the stairs from the front gate. They were hassling this kid with the Eevee backpack. This is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, send flexed on him and ran off! I love Nimona so much. Nimona is a real goddamn pal. I really like sun flexed on them and they ran off.
You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Miss Sen, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at the academy. No. And Miss Nimona, do you remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles? Uh, right. Yes, sir, director. A child in the Amy backpack, you say? I suppose it might be Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good to report to Mr. Jacques about the Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, you should be apprised of all such goings-on. You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Sen. Come on, I'll show you the way. Mr. Jacques. Hello there, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? I want to hear the news. No, oh, the two frames per second, child! <laughs> Lord. Bruh. I gotta respond to this message. a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Whisper, 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 whisper. Hi. I made sure to get glasses and a hat before coming to class so you all knew what I actually was. These students! The Uncanny Valley students! Alright, I'm sad. So calm and collected! Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Sen. Alright then, who wants to be first to ask our new friend a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like playing with them. I'm totally the same. You went all to the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Sen. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I want to be strong or I want to complete the Pokedex. Uh, I guess strong. You will be, oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get go get so strong battling together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Sen. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the Academy and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins, be nice and friendly to our new classmate. Oh. 
Oh, I'm so tired. Good to the academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. You know, during class. Everyone else is in their chairs. They're all so nice. What is a small child? You wanna talk to me? Oh shoot, that guy is here. What the hell? The hair! Jesus. The hair! I'm sorry? Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. Glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, hey, Sen. She looked awesome. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is, why? They call her La Primera. No! La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. Oh wow, hang on though, I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. The move their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon's trainer's dream, the coolest title ever anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt's a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great, you get to leave school to have, go on an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map, in case you decide to go for it. Let's see. Give it some thought. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm gonna boil water again. Um, probably for more tea and also some like instant noodles. I just want my instant noodles. Oh no, I don't want to leave. I want to talk to the asshole. Cup asshole. Ugh. Oh hey, we meet again. You remember me, right? I don't think we met. What? Well, come on! I gave you my ride on Pokeball. <laughs> Did I forget to introduce myself? Well, my name's Arvin. No need to tell me your name, Sen, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up, the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk to you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's the dream first? Not your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might be a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about the picnic life! The great outdoors! The perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not have bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food. See, I found this book the other day and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal, only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to try to grab a few. A few. Let's see, Titans are. Well, I think they've got to be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat. Holy shit! <laughs> 
A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawn Fan, yet differences such as its textures and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate, to say nothing of it, treads of iron. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either, and I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council, girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yeah, okay. Nope, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in the map for you. Yo, your phone case. Adorable. The Titan Slayers have been added to your map. Let's do a bit and we can get more into details later and in the meantime take this. A little gift for listening and all. Give the idea some serious thought please! Yeah, okay. This is Sen, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you! Hope you don't mind! Bro. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean hacked? <laughs> well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone. No! The scammers! The scammers got to me. Okay, there. My noodles are in hot water now. Now to wait for my noodles to be done. Oh, da, 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 da. Oh, da, da, da. Ah! My name's Cassiopeia. Never mind that, it's you who I want to talk to. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. And that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask you. Tell me, Sen, you know about Team Star, right? Great, I appreciate you being up front. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I'll call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation and I'd like you to be one of them. No need to reply right this second. Till then, I'll leave it to you. Ah, Miss Sen. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within school, won't you? Yeah. Okay. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young lady. Team Star, you say? <sighs> well, he was sent to the director's office. Once again, Miss sent to the director's office. Um. 
Uh... Book and title types and moves. No. God, I'm really. S I I understand the like resource saving. I understand the resource saving, but to see like this like phasing in and out constantly is really annoying. It like breaks my immersion. <laughs> I really want to change my f smartphone's design. Do I have to go to the store for that? Like, the smartphone store? That's kind of annoying. Thank you for coming, Miss Sin. Have you been enjoying your time here? I've, I've only just gotten here and people have given me four lifetime journeys. <laughs> now you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Hello, Sen. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within this great crater of Paldea. At a site known as Area Zero. Or s where Madrid once was. <sighs> the professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Well, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Send student ID number this. You are the student who travels with unusual Pokemon or is that not Is that correct? Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that you are honest in confirming the facts. Not that I do not mean to offend you, in fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Alright, I was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I ask of you. Will you continue looking after Maraidon on my behalf? Yeah. I do appreciate your agreement. Maraidon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobil uh, mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. I will in regular contact going forward to keep tabs. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Could this Pokemon have its origins within area zero? Tyrion, that's how you actually did it. Damn. What are they implying? What are you incinerating? <laughs> well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with Maraidon.
Excuse me. Oh, you're still here, son. Oof, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Not kidding, I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. You, your, your very own private room, son. Let's go check it out. <sighs> From today on, this is your room, Sen. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. I've never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed? It looks comfy and you must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your first day, huh? A quick rest on the bed if all you need is to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you're rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. I wish I could go to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. <gasps> These quickly fly by. What the fuck? We're like time skipping? The last day arrives for your true adventures to begin. I've just been going to classes, I guess. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard while I will explain in more detail. It's time! I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Seems everyone is here. I really wish there was voice acting. It's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live there. <clears throat> and get to know other people, too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. Your journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. Find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! Oh my god, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclozar, we're running out. Take care, everyone. Remember, the great creator, creator of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. What are you waiting for, son? Let's go.
The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question, since it's your first time. Come on, let's take a walk and talk. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Uva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. You could try to be Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. There's stuff we never learned sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. <laughs> you and me for sure, gotta battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I mean, I want to tell you, did you know your f map- ah, your, f your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You can try setting one of the gyms as your destination, then you get- that get you on your way easy. How's that for student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? Insider advantage? Yeesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that she check out the gyms. It's up to Sen whether she goes. Sen's gonna have her hands full researching out Titan Pokemon with me. She doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and her are going to be too busy visiting the lairs of titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. Don't go filling your head with weird stories. All I did was invite her along. It's still up to send whether she goes, right? Grr. Your phone's ringing. Hey, San Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up, the bosses that each specialize in different type Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, you need to worry with your skills. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the boss's locations to your phone for you. Hey, Moonlit, welcome. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait, one second. Who are you supposed to be in Team Star? Those punks are serious hazard. They're not Sen's problem. That's right, because she's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Sen to decide whether she goes or not. Wasn't that what you said? Simona and Darwin. How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Sen. Bye. What was that all about? Sen, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the best thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what, what you do, Sen. Go where you want, what, ugh, and do what you want. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's gotta be my, er, my, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've ever had in your life. Ark, what'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? Well, you're not getting one. It seems like it wants to start moving. It's telling you to get on, Sen. Plus button. Oh, and B to jump. Let's go! Transform, not really. It looks like some kind of weird Cyclozar. 
long as you got Marai done, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea is your cloister. Well, if you're gonna research those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Sun is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Shh, man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to the gym. See you around, Sen. The treasure hunt has finally begun. The special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set on their very own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure all on your own. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Leaf, let's go. Look at all these Pokemon just hanging out. God, instant noodles, my beloved. Let's see. I guess I'll go there. It's always a Lechonk. I should put like a napkin down. I'm eating noodles and it's getting everywhere. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, I was getting sauce everywhere. <laughs> okay. There's so much Lachong. Out. Ah, here.
There we go. I look like I'm struggling to smile. Jeez, I gotta figure that out later. I'm sorry, there are Ralts over here? Where's those Ralts? I want Ralts. Where are Ralts? I give up. I see he still can't go in the water. There's too many goddamn Pokemon to like ride my ride on. Gang of Fletchling. Oh, what's up there?
Terra Raid Battle? Let's go! Is it like Link only? Oh, I need to go on online. Maybe you can't do it yet. Hi, Papa C. Apparently, there's Terra Raids to get certain Terra Pokemon. I'm going to jump off this cliff. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I don't know when you unlock being able to go online, though. <laughs> I haven't seen that mom before. Dude! <laughs> there was one Pokemon. There was one Pokemon where I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> Ignore Nightbot. I was worried someone would be like, Did you see this leak? Did you see that leak? And I'd be like, Get out of here. <laughs> oh, how soon you can trade online? That's a good question. I don't think I'm there yet. You Maybe you have to beat a gym first or something? I don't know. I was on my way to like an area with, with a gym, I think. I think I was doing that. Hang on. Let's see. I was around here and I was like... This is probably a titan, this is probably a gym, and this is probably a base with a boss. <laughs> Maybe you have to complete one of the three big story quest things before you unlock it. Going online and trading and crap? I don't know. I was, uh, trying to progress and getting lost. Ah! I swear to god, riding Maridon? First Pokemon Center you can't? Maybe. They didn't like, tell me anything, that's for sure. But anyways, I swear with Maridon, every like, two steps I take, I, I go into a Pokemon battle because he's so bulky. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's hard to like, get anywhere. Oh, you didn't know that? That was like officially announced, I think. Yeah, you you get him because he's your ride. You don't uh you can't use him to like fight yet, but I think you can later. I think you I think unlocking the story unlocks that. Something annoying by the way. Is that all the like clothes shops are all separated? At least in the town I first saw them in. You're blitzing the game. That's gonna be funny. But I was like in town, like, okay, here's the hat shop, here's the sock shop, here's the backpack shop. <laughs> Quite annoying. Alright, I am getting like- I'm staying off Maridon because it's very annoying. Oh, look at this little book thing. I love the book Pokedex app thing. It's so cute. Wrong button. There we go. Frick, frack. Which button was it? Minus. There we go. The books. They're little books. It's big cute. Uh, is that a is that an item? It is. A, oh, it's a berry. Berries are like sparkly. Is that a dude? I want to fight a dude. Okay, I'm gonna try not to run into a Pokemon. I'm the strongest in area one. Okay, 
Earthing my guy. Do you think you can topple the mightiest martial artist? Well, I'm not fighting you. This guy is crazy in his eyes. Yeah, you probably shouldn't <laughs> see any more stuff. Bye bye. Thanks for stopping by. Strongest martial artist uses Lechong. I'm not even using that hotbed, but sure. Okay, Makahita makes more sense. Okay, I don't wanna- no, you can only do it once. Uh, fine. Henceforth, I am the second mightiest. Thanks for the official title of mightiest trainer. Is that an Oricorio? I like the book. Show me the book picture. Yes! <laughs> oh, the book picture is the red one. Combi. Are none of you female? Come here, you. Oh. I'm here. Everybody's so scared. Yeah, it's just a a male. Entry. Uh 
No, I didn't want to name it. Aw, cute picture. Pardon? Not here. You're not that special. <laughs> I was like, it looked kind of different, but it's probably the lighting. I thought it was like slightly different. Oh. Found a thing. I really want to do these, but I don't know how to get online and if I can even get online. Okay, portal. I mean, this is trading, but I'm offline. Wait, connect to the internet. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes! Okay. Sick. Let's see if anybody joins. Shit, spoilers! <laughs> Fuck! Shit, dude. I'm kind of pissed. Oh, I'm mad. I mean, I like the design. <laughs> I'm kind of mad, though.
Well, it's pretty cool, at least. I saw Sprigatino's evolved form, but I guess you pay the price. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. This Pokemon looks funny. There's way too many Lashop in this game. I'm gonna get really good at, like, dodging Pokemon battles. Just inching my way around like a car trying to parallel, pa parallel park. God, I wish I didn't see Sprigatinos <laughs> I've paid the price. Okay. Here I go, trying to get to the destination one more time. Maybe I should follow the road. Oh no, the road just goes over there. Okay, I'll go this way. How's the experience? It's, it's interesting. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. the wrong direction. I forgot I can't go around. So I, I gotta go all the way back up. Whoop! Oh god. Sometimes texture stuff bugs me. not my destination in the slightest that I wanted to go to, but you know, we make do, we make do. I don't even know where I'm going. I see big sparkly. I want to see what it is. Oh, it's a big raid. Flamingo. <laughs> I love it in all of its stupidness. It's just a flamingo. It don't even look like a Pokemon. It's just a flamingo. <laughs> the strongest flamingo. <laughs> Like, what the hell? <laughs> How quick? 
quick attack. Thanks to the behavior, there is known as synchronizing. An entire flock of these Pokemon can attack simultaneously in perfect harmony. Horrifying. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's a Lechonk. I'll take- I'll take a Terra Lechonk. God, please don't be another evolution of the starter. Please don't be another starter evolution. Please don't be another starter evolution. Please don't be another starter evolution. Come on. Join my raid and don't have a starter evolution. I'm waiting. Come on. Where are the people? waiting. I mean, like... I like no choice but to wait. Another minute. We sure are waiting. Oh shit. We got someone. I dropped my chopstick. Ah! I'm gonna start this battle in like 10 seconds. Oh shit, let's go! Ready up, ready up, yo let's go!
the mats. I'll hail the mats. Oh, well, what's this? An awakening. Oh, drowsy. A boop. Oh, I murdered it. Absolutely obliterated. I need a new drowsy. Come on, into my Pokedex. Stop getting murdered! Do I need to switch to Palmy? What the fuck? Oh, it's you. Give me my coin, I guess. I need a new drowsy. There's more! There we go. Perfect. There we go. The drowsy book has a scary cover. All right, out of my way, losers. Oh, you want to fight? I forgot about Squawkabilly. It's just like parrot version of Chad Tot. Actually, no, Chad Tot is a parrot. It's just a tropical version of Chad Tot. Can I make this jump? Wait, I believe. Fuck, the flamingo got in my way. I hate the flamingo. Oh, I like hate the flamingo as much as I love that the flamingo exists. Another coin boy. Oh, another coin boy. Why are there so many coin boys? 
Are there any more coin boys? There's another coin boy! What am I supposed to do with all these coins? Alright, hang on. No! Okay, surely. Surely I can make this jump. I found the water! I can't believe you've done this! I found a fuck! <laughs> what the? <laughs> I like- You can see my character freak out about falling in the water. And then I got into a battle the exact moment it wanted me to pass out from falling in the water. And then it just teleported me over. That's hilarious. Well, well. Oh, oh my god. I made it. There's no way to get to that one though without going over there. Can I get around? Is that a Cheetle? Cheetle? A popular game among children is to lift up sticks that Cheetle had bitten onto to see whose Cheetle can hang on the longest. Poor Cheetle. Really thought I was gonna fall in the water. Let's see, poop whooper. I really am 
distracted with like just one more, just one more, just one more. <laughs> it's just not ending. Ah. Uh. Boy, boy. Oh, it's a palmy. I was like, what is that? It's so tiny. Honestly, where am I going anymore? Let's set that as the destination. Oh, I, I like landed on a Lechonk. There's a bike. What is this? Breath of the Wild? Yeah, it pretty much is. Also, hey, Harseko. It's open world, so. It's like a slightly less graphically. graphically good Breath of the Wild. Very, very less graphically good Breath of the Wild. Faint writing is written on. is carved into the shrine. Herein lie sealed the ruinous tablets. Wild. This, uh, didn't help me get to where I wanted to go. Ooh, items! I believe in you! I believe in you, Maridon! Whoop! Fuck. They don't want me to cheat! There, now I'm up here. There we go. Are you serious? I'm saving it first before I try. No! I'm already pissed. I don't want to walk all the way back around, so I'm reloading. F in the chat, Harzako. I'm not trying that jump again. I don't think I can do it. Honestly, I don't want to fight this thing either. Okay, I think I, uh... Still have not found how to progress. Everywhere I go is like a blockade. I think this is just me being unlucky though. <laughs> it's just like... I wanna go somewhere. I want to do something. Alright, surely if I go over here, I can, like, go around. I 
Final Fantasy VII music. Ah! Leave me alone. I made the- I wanted to make the jump! <laughs> Let me make the jump! I was close. Ah! Let me go. Whoa! Ah! Damn it. The worst part is how long this takes to load. Alright, I give up. Alright, how do I get around again? Parsico, please! Thank you, but please! Na 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 na. I hope you also pay your bills appropriately. What pills? Lord. Is that a coin boy? Coin boy. Well. It is but a wee rookity. Please, I just want the item! How do I get around anywhere? Where am I? I want to get over there, and I just can't get up there. There's like a... a mountain at every turn. Can, should I just like... I mean... I just end up at the same spot every time. I just want to do something. I guess I should just go west. ghost dog. I want ghost dog. I just want to save it again. I turned off auto saving because I don't trust Pokemon and auto saving in the first like two weeks of release. Alright, I'm gonna get somewhere. <laughs> now 
I've got two. You wanna fight? I've got two whole Pokemon. Am I cool or what? Oh, eh, I saw under the map again. I really hate that. Kill the Hound Hour. It's not a bug, it's a feature, honestly. <laughs> Don't you want to see under the map? Every time you go into a Pokemon battle from an awkward angle? Doesn't it look great? Doesn't it not break your immersion at all? This kid is just such a kid that he only gave me like a dollar. On your way to school. Ruben the janitor! you but being cornered by like a school janitor late at night is kind of creepy oh yes nuzzle good i like nuzzle This game is probably very, uh, not good for my poor sense of direction. <laughs> good I'll get up, Sprig. Hurry up and evolve, Sprig. I want to know what you look like, Foley. Shonk. Need to exit from the west. I'm also gonna heal again. Oh yeah, you. Thank you.
All right, I gotta exit from the west. Oh, I can buy a backpack. I wanna buy a backpack. And then exit from the west. Past lives you've lived? Uh, Galar? Oh, guy case, damn. You silly. I've never heard of it. Your character is like, yeah, I remember. I was, I lived a Hisui life. Oh, the arc phone. That's pretty clever. You get an arc phone case. Oh my lord. Oh nice. I definitely want to look at those phone cases. I don't know how to change them without going to the phone case store though, so I guess I'm looking for the phone case store. Oh, it's a backpack shop. <clears throat> I do want a custom backpack. I feel like I should get a red one to match my glasses. This looks more like an... A uh, my friends kind of thing though with the red and black I guess it'd probably only be temporary because there's probably other backpacks yeah I'll get this for now let's see God, the loading times. Oh boy, the loading times. Box. Shoes. Shoes. I want shoes. I want these. I want these really bad. I guess I'll aim for it. I need more money. Then 
in here? Rough and tough. Gloves! Let's go. Is this the phone case store? Nah. Damn. I'm still looking for the phone case store. I went like all the way around. This one. Okay. So we're here. You have arrived. Okay. Okay, so you can't just change it without having to go here. <sighs> I gotta figure out how. But, but how? How the fuck do you change your phone case? I want to look. I want to know. So can I wonder trade? Yeah, surprise trade. I want to do it. Oh, I need to go back online. Oh, I am online. Cool. Let's go. Let's see. I'll trade Pumbaa the Lechong because I have another Lechong. Ah, fine. I'll trade the this one. Damn it! I didn't want to exit out. Ah, fine. At this point. At this point. At this point. There.
What was I given? Goodbye, Pumba. They give me a hop -ip. Well, I got a Japanese hop hip now. Honestly, I'll be getting a female combi later so I can do combi. Let's see. Jason. On the girl. I'll just retrade this as girl. It's, uh, all, well, it's a Terra type as a roll. That's cool. Eh, I'm sure I'll get my own Terra type as a roll. Time to retrade this Fado. Fado. I'll just trade this one. I don't know if this is mine or theirs, but I'll trade this one. Yes, I would like to throw this palmy back into the ether. This is the West, right? I'm not crazy. On oh, my arm. I'm leaning on my arm too much.
Oh, Japanese drowsy. We'll keep it. It's funny. Kind of started with like Lechonk and Drowsy, I think. Uh. Yes, this is where I want to go. Rototo. Hey, it's me, Nimona. We should call each other up on, on how things are going from now on. You decided to set out heading west from the school, right, Sen? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortondo. That's where you'll fight the bud bug type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, Sen. Good luck. I'll call you soon. Picnic! A picnic basket! Sick. Thank you. Yes! Mareep? Many Mareep. Do you need help, my friend? Maybe a rumble will calm my rumbling tummy. No, the student. I just want to show off my terrestrialization. Get him! Get him!
boom ba -doom. I'm so disappointed. Dang. <clears throat> Boop. Let's go. Ding, ding, ding. It takes so long. I just want to do the raid. Ah. This takes forever. <laughs> Jeez. I just want the venonet. Is it really just not gonna have anybody here? Oh, here we go. Son of a bitch. Internet.
I should have bit at first. I'm a dumb dumb. Why are you after me? Ooh, a pearl. Ooh, another pearl. Sick. <gasps> oh, I'm so tired. Leave Let's go. Oh, oh, it's a diglet. <laughs> There's so many Diglett! Fine! Evolving. I get a pretty butterfly. Yay. Oh my guy. I bought some delicious cake from Fantasy A Soap Berry. Let's celebrate with a battle. Jesus. Is it part ground yet? I don't think so. Oh no, it is. It's park ground. F.
The defense curling. Eep, I'm laying on my arm again. Oh, I need to stop slouching. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is relatable. Dude just really likes cake. Oh. I need to Oof, I want to like evolve more Pokémon. See. I want them dex entries. Does Wiglet evolve? <laughs> um. Look at the widow wiggle we buffs. Look at the little whoa. They're angry. They're so angry. I'll just throw a Pokeball. It's not that hurt, but I'll just throw a Pokeball. Oh, I had one of these already. I'll get the Diggle Puff. Thunder Shock. Tired as hell. I'm sorry for being weird. Evolving. Go, Peekaboo, go! Oh, 
Sprig! Sprig! <coughs> I'm so happy! Finally. Flora Gato, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's just floral cat. <laughs> the hardness of Florigato's fur depends on the Pokemon's mood. When Florigato is prepared to battle, his fur becomes pointed and needle sharp. I'm leaning on my arm again. I need to not do this. Oh, da 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 da. This is fine. I'm fine. Like a lovely olive. <laughs> yeah. Like a lovely small olive. Oh yeah. Chorizo! Doze off for a sec there, same. Can I fall in your pool? Oh, we can actually swim! We can actually, uh, get in here. That's fun. A little motor biking around in their pool. They won't let you fall in their pool. It's funny. Teleports me to the start of the building. Oh no, I thought it was gonna teleport me. For like a cutscene. Hi, hey, son. Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're gonna turn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Hey, have these. When you use them, consider it, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Aw, that's wholesome. I'm so glad you're aiming to be champion too. This is the best news ever. I'm so excited I can barely stand still. Guess I'll go battle every trainer I run into. Can I fly home now? I wanna like buy shoes. I guess I don't have the money for shoes. I need more money. I want the cool shoes. Welcome to Cortondo Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. This guy's stash. 
In order to face the gym leader, Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. That means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortondo. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival each year, each year for generations. You'll need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. I hate this. Oh my god. Oh, hello. You like the plant? It's a pretty nice plant. Tired, 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 tired. Oh la 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 la. What this? Oh god, the frame rate sometimes. <gasps> Small lives! Babies! I hate this. The gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling. I'm I'm prepared to fail. Da 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 da. Do do. Oh no, I don't like this. The <laughs> small lives are happy. Wow, this is a long loading screen.
Okay, let me in. I hear you're on a roll out there! No, leave me alone! Eat up my cute little pavilion. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you so very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie and I'm the owner here at Patissier Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as a leader of Contondo Gym right now. Forgive me, ahead. My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader here in Cortondo. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon, hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Don't take my Bug-type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do! She's Jesus. Muzzle. Paralyzing work. Why won't paralyzing work? You're paralyzed! <laughs> Be not able to move! Fuck you. Cotton spore for for Marie. Eh, lucky.
I'll just bite it. Oh, nope. Okay, well... Nice, nice. Teddy Ursa. Nice. How should I roll out things from here? Teddy Ursa is it a bug type? Look at the fur! You can see Teddy Ursa's fur! I'm a little Pokemon. Oh no. You're Terra terrestrializing it? To be bug type? Wild. Shining bug decoration. Though this one is not so sweet. Rude. First, I'm gonna sacrifice Wooper. Actually, poison it. Oh, we done it. It is poisoned. Now we're stalling. Now potion. Sprig. I really want uh Palmy to like get experience. So I think I'm gonna stall again to revive Palmy.
Oh boy. Okay. Should be able to bite it. Yes. Yay, palmy experience. All my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies! Jesus. Money! I want to buy shoes. Your strength rose during our battle, like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. This proof of your victory against me, the gym leader. Allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Nice. Nice! I want to use this picture. Look on up to level 25 will be easier to catch and we'll listen to your commands. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little tea and some frosting on the cake? Bounce. Once you've had a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You didn't know that, right? I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then until we meet again. Hey, Sen. Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool moves. Be ready. How'd it go at the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes! Haha, <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gym. Nice job, passed me. I'm training hard, too, by the way. Day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next. Especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna wait for a battle if we run into each other. Whew! Do, 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 do. Okay. You have the Pokemon for Bebe, they can carry different colored flowers, right? Could you trade me for Bebe for my Snom? Ah! I'll look. I'll look for one. I'll look for one. I want the snom.
I want to go here and go get the shoes I want. Okay, the shoes! I also still don't know how to change my Rotom phone case. Gloves. We have hats too. Aww. I want this, but I want the shoes right now. Damn, I like these glasses better than mine. I can afford it. The shoe store. I'm at soup. I'm at the soup store. <sighs> These are the ones. These babies. I love them. Sick. Now we got cool shoes. I love these shoes. Holy crap. I want them in real life. Okay. I'd be looking pretty good. I'd be looking pretty good. I should take a selfie in front of the balloon cart. cat this kid needs to get out of my face there we 
There we go. <laughs> okay. Now, let me think. Let's do... Oh, right. I couldn't figure out how to get over there. Well, maybe if I just follow the road. Whoop! <laughs> I try to jump off the cliff and it yells at me. Oh, it takes forever to load when I try to jump off the cliff. <laughs> How did I get here? I jumped off a cliff. It just... <laughs> okay. Yay! He gave me a free pickle! Oh, hi. You're no, I don't want to give it a nickname. Ah, ah. Nice. That's a nice picture. I love the little books. Is that a new Pokemon? Is that a new one? Is that a new one? I think this is a new one. Here's your little buddy! What are you? Are you a rock boy? I don't know. Yeah, you're a rock boy. Jesus. This is fine. There's a picnic right next to us. Get in the Pokeball! Boop, 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 boop. Knockly. The ground scrapes its body as it travels, causing it to leave salt behind. Salt is constantly being created and replenished inside Knockly's body. It's a salt rock. It's just a little salt. That's interesting. Also, please heal me again, sir. Oh, 
Hello, Spoink. Trying to catch every Pokemon is so fun. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! Cute. Can I take a selfie with the Pokemon? I guess if it doesn't try to attack. Right? <laughs> Is it gone? Dang, I really wish you could walk around. Oh, Shinx! I want a picture with the Shinx! Alright! No! Stop! I'm so very upset. Profile. Take a new picture. Oh, hi! It's cool you're there now. But I really wanted a picture with, uh, the Shinx! This guy's in my way. I love it! Jinx! I love it. Now I gotta catch it. Oh, so 
such a cute picture! Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> They're <laughs> Dude, the Pokemon's between my legs. <laughs> ah, yes, floating fish. That was legit hilarious. Why are you laughing? Your Pokemon is dead and you're laughing. I'm kidding. Boop, 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 doop, boop. Oh, is that a rookity? Boop. I didn't know it would murder! It's just Nuzzle! There will be more Rookities. There's some down there even, but uh, if I go down there, I don't know how to get back up. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, there's a coin boy here. Coin boy! <laughs> Coin boy! <laughs> That's all I wanted. God, remember this. <laughs> me up dude it fucking cracks me up <laughs> uh, um there's someone at the door i gotta go
I'd answer the doorbell. My sleep paralysis demon! <laughs> it really is. <laughs> okay. Boy, it's cold outside. Rrr. <sighs> cold. It was all sparkly and all twinkly. Did you see a shiny? Oh, is it that thing back there? With the sparkles? <laughs> Your Starly is about to die. <sighs> now we're all bruisy and loosey. That that thing over there is it gone? I don't know what it was. It went away as soon as I looked at it. going. So I want that. Oh. Do 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 I feel like I should have fought him before I heal. Oh. <laughs> you have a strange face. Why do they look like they're about to fight me? <laughs> put put up the fisticuffs. Playing some Pokemon. Having a good time, even though I keep getting lost. Can learn dig all you want. The internet hates everything. I'm having a really good time. I don't know what the fuss is about. It's better than Sword and Shield. 
And I liked Sword and Shield enough. Sword and Shield is like, like the bare minimum okay. And this is, game is pretty good. <laughs> They give you like three different things to do and I like it. And I like going around catching uh catching like outer outer open Pokemon. No more no more like grass battles. That's good. No more random encounters. They incorporated a lot of elements from Arceus that I think are good points of Arceus. Okay, my guy. Is that Gulpin? Gimme. There is just a lot of, like, frame rate, I would say. There's a lot of frame rate issues. There's a lot of, uh... If my camera is in a weird position when the battle starts, I see underneath the map issues. <laughs> but it's also day one, so... I'm hoping they patch those kinds of issues. I mean, there's like three stories. And I only just started- I only did one gym. I- I haven't really delved into the stories yet. I'm out- I'm- I'm working on- I did one gym. And then I want to do one of the other one and one of the other one. <laughs> I'm on my way- well, I'm trying to find my way to doing one of the other ones. <laughs> there's gyms, there's defeating the, like, bad teams by beating up their bosses. And then there's helping this guy find some kind of mystical herb that he wants to make the perfect sandwich with. And you have to beat Titan Pokemon. <laughs> also, god, I love how the Pokedex works, by the way. I'm a huge fan of how the Pokedex works. <laughs> I love that it's like, it's like on your app, but it's also like you're putting books on a bookshelf and they all have their own like book covers. And I just like l seeing all the new book covers. I'm like, that's a cute book cover. That's a cute book cover. <laughs> uh, did I forget to get the coin boy? I still got like a picture of coin boy on the sign and forgot to get him. Now I don't know where he was. <laughs> I don't remember where Coin Boy was. There's an item over there. Huh! Oh, is this it? Eh. Was he here? Coin Boy? Maybe I did get him, and I just don't remember. I'm not sure how Coin Boys work. Oh hey, I, I finally found this guy's story stuff. Hey Sen, so from what I can gather, the Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. I had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something? Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky, so don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. Okay. That's a lot of shanks. Coin! <laughs> coin boy! <laughs> Got a coin. A mighty item to hold and I am mighty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's so manic.
Look at the Shinx can watch the battle. What are you planning, my guy? What are you planning? I like these Shinx just running around. Rude! I'm a little scared of this thing. I'm gonna kill it. Skiddo. Fight v tackle me. Fight versus tackle, let's go. But yeah, essentially you're just a kid who started going to a new school. And every every year the new school gives the the like an independent study program for kids to just go out and do whatever kind of journey they want to do for a while. And one person is like, you should go do gyms, and one person is like, you should go take down the, like, bosses from the jerk team. And then one kid is like, no, you need to help me with my dreams of becoming a world-class sandwich chef or some shit. <laughs> and so you just get to choose. You get to choose what you want to do at your own pace, and that's pretty cool. I feel like they could easily, um, like, add DLC of, like, more things, like, more story things like that to do. Maybe someone else needs help with something else, I don't know. They could add stuff doing that, and I feel like that would be neat. I'm gonna heal again. Also, I really like that there are raid, uh, that is a tiny Makuhita. I really like that there are raid battles. Raids are fun. I like doing raids. I like how my team is completely random, because I want to evolve them for dex entries. <laughs> Though I might actually keep using Palmy as my electric type, because it's, you know, the new electric type. Yeah. I'm gonna go do that raid. I'm not gonna have to fight you because I wanna do this raid. Is 
It's a fire. Fire raid. I am aligned. Oh, it's a Swablu with a fire Terra type. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let's go, I guess. I await people. The people must come. Build it and they will come. Sure takes forever to wait for people. I've done a few raids and almost all of them had like the middle form for Sprigatito and none of them had the middle form for any of the other two Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just hoping I never see the final form of Sprigatito until I evolve my Sprigatito, but I sure am risking it every time I do a raid battle. <laughs> Let's go! They have a Zoomerill! I want a Zoomerill. Trying. I hope that- I, I, my main worry whenever like only one person joins is that they'll leave before another person joins. It's like, just wait the timer out, guys. Just wait it out with me. It's okay, just wait it out with me. I think we're fine. I think I think it'll be fine with just us. It's probably not that crazy of a thing. Nice, nice. Yeah, it was fine. Next entry, baby. It can't relax if it or its surroundings are not clean. Relatable. God, I love the little books. Little bit so good. Let's see. I really want to find. Oh, here? That is destination. Okay, we're gonna go there. Let me just throw this trash away really quick. 
also just like straight up had some instant noodles and I need to remove the, <laughs> the dishes. Oh, I wanted the item, not you. Actually, like, frick you. It's a boy! It's the lad! I just wanted to paralyze it. I know it wasn't strong against it or anything. This thing is actually horrifying. What's this thing called? Cloth? This Pokemon lives on sheer cliffs that sidesteps opponents, attacks, then lunges for their weak spots! Holy shit! This guy is br- I'm naming this guy Brutal. Thanks. Free pickle. Free ham! <sighs> Can I make a sandwich? I don't think I know how to make sandwiches yet. I want a skidoo dough. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, skiddo, skiddo, skidoo. Paralyze.
As long as it has sunlight and water, Skittle can make energy with the leaves on its body, allowing it to live on rocky mountains barren of food. I'm gonna name it Skidoo. Oh, cute picture book stuff, freaking. Ah, hi. Oh, my Mareep is evolving. Good. Ah, good, good, good. Because of its rubbery electricity resistant skin, it can store lots of electricity in its fur. The Pokedex entries. They are bestowed upon me. I really like how Pokemon like evolve in front of you. Like in the like they don't like cut to like a weird animation of lights as the background thing. This guy surrounded himself with the shinks who want his sandwiches. I'm gonna go fight that trainer, wherever they were. Over there. There was the rock wall. There was that Pokemon. Incredible, you know? This one behind me right here. And this one here. <laughs> this one? <laughs> you mean that one? <laughs> there he goes. Pommy. So rude. Wake up! Ease. That wasn't- 
That wasn't a slow animation at all, yeah. this pavilion put all of my Pokemon to sleep. Jesus! I think losing to you is calling me down. Then they turn around and the fucking thing is there. Oh, hi. This game is so good. I know, right? It's so really it's really fun. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, that's what happens when Pokemon comes out. Like, I'm already just gonna know life it as it is. Yeah, I really wanted both. I would love both and to play both. Like a little outing, like a tour. I have to go on like a tour tomorrow. So I'm not gonna be streaming. Nice, nice ideas. Did I get a boy? Is a male Growlithe? Good. Oop. I'm not naming it Money Sign. Oh okay. yeah. Pommy evolves. I really want the Pommy to evolve. I should feed it the like experience candy I have. Nice job, nice job. Yeah, it'd be like that. Oh, Pommy! I did it! I evolved it! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Pomo! 
뭐? 쉐미 러창 Damn, I really want it to... Well, I guess it doesn't need to know bite Yeah, it's a lot easier to find them when you have open world Pokemon Which is really good Oh, da 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 Catch tutorial and then the chunk. Nice. Oh. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Sorry, I'm really tired, so I like sound really drained. <sighs> I'm gonna picnic. All right, let me picnic. I haven't picnic yet. Oh, ah! Leave me alone. Ten a.m. Jeez, I like woke up. At like 9.30, but like I went to bed like really late. Picnic! Ball. 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 Oh, you, you fucking got him. Yeah, the Pokemon have really good, like, character. And, like, they move around and have, like, interactions with things in a way that's look- Oh. 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 <laughs> He's just in the wall, I guess. I wanna make a sandwich. I'll redecorate for sure. Yes! I love the tablecloth. Enjoy lurking. And everything else you're doing. Experience points. Experience points. Ah. Eh. 
I'll just do this one. I also hate when people say real names. That's why I'm, uh, chat actually will like mute you if you say uh, me or Barrow's real names. Oh yeah, texture clipping, fun, yeah. Like that texture clipping? No, oh, I fucked it up. You know, that's fine. That, that's a great sandwich! <laughs> oh, you should uh, make a locked VC with a locked roll. That'll probably help. I fucked up the sandwich pretty big time. Lord, I hate that. I hate that a lot. That would like not be tolerated by me. I would be like, oh, you're not mature enough to be my friend. Get out of here. <laughs> that sounds like such a 15 year old thing to do. It says it's really good. It's so fucked up. Oh well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dude doesn't sound like he's 20. GG. GG, my guy. Dude, Maridon's so happy about the ball. Look at Maridon. He loves his ball. He's just a big dog. <laughs> oh, I never bought a new ball. I need a new ball. Also, I want to make a better sandwich. God, I love this tablecloth. I wanted this tablecloth in real life. I just want to make a sandwich. This one will be fine. This one will be a good sandwich. Texture clipping! Okay, it's uneven. But, you know. That's better. This is- this is good. This is- this is good. This is good. This is fine. Ah. Nom. <laughs> the face. Yes, Pokemon egg. All right, we're done here. Ah, Sprig is sleeping. Ah.
I'm sorry, is that like a big boy? Hang on. I'm prepared for this big boy. My guy. Holy shit. Genuinely horrifying him. It's funny in Ohio. Yeah. That was me when I lived in Nebraska. Cause there was a tornado siren every Wednesday at like 9 or 10 in the morning. <laughs> I guess it's more like the first Wednesday is when we did it in Nebraska. Go get him, Pika Blue. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, this guy. There he go. Oh, he- oh, jeez, I was standing there. Jesus. Son, you found it. And that's the things the Stony Cliff Titan No Cloth has got any business being that big. He's right. Is it gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, then. Oh, it's looking a little rough, Shelter. Let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half shell. Holy shit, my guy. He knows how to banter.
Good job. Good job, Pika Blue. Look at my little bunny coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. I bet somewhere in here there's more of the Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. No way! This is one of our- this is one of the Urban Mystica, it's exactly how it looked in the book! Nice. Yes, we actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Sen. Now then, let's see. What is, what does ah? What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet herb of Mystica is good for gut health and that it, it helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now if I can just get him to eat some. All right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Here you go, an Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. And I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan Badge, made it myself using a replica of the gym badges. Nice. Nice. Give him the sandwich. What's up with that thing? It just comes out of its bowl on its own, whatever it wants. It wants sandwich. Hey, now. That's up for you. It wants the sandwich! You want to give your sandwich some ride on? Yes. I went through all the trouble making this for you and you just give it away. I realized that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. Come on, now you're making me feel like I'm a selfish jerk! You kind of are. Here, you can have half of mine, but you better save her every last bite. You already ate the whole thing? Alright, Don, we'll be able to dash now. Nice. Hey, is it me or is this thing sort of powered up somehow? I can't believe it, the power of these herbs really is worth guarding. If they had that big effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. I bet they'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you've both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Don't worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave all this to me, though I'd be much more obliged if you'd get us started on searching out the remaining four Herba Mystica for us. I really owe you. Aw. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. Damn, the mysteries! The mysteries! Hello, Sen, this is Turo. 
It detects that Maridon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Watch out for trees! If you strike a tree while dashing, Pokemon lurking up among the branches will fall down. I hope you will continue to explore Paldeo, Paldeo with Maridon as you have before. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. See out your own path, using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth in your journey and take good care of Maridon for me. Let's go! Dashing! Go get him, Pika Blue. Pika Blue, go! <sighs> All righty. Oh, sick. Everybody's evolving. I'm getting me some dex entries. Should, uh, hatch this egg. I wonder when wo the whooper will evolve. <sighs> I'd like to evolve this Choodle. I think I'll hatch the egg later. Let me just Google when Skip Bloom evolves. Level 27. Okay. And then Wooper. At level 20. We're close. When Wooper evolves, then I'll do somebody else. I think I am keeping Palmo.
Let's see. Let's add Palmo. Down here. I can figure this out. There we go. Perfect. Ah, Momo, come back. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Okay. So, Wooper will evolve at level 20. Then maybe I'll hatch this egg. And then evolve something else. For the sake of Dex entry. Honestly, this is probably a good place to like train this whooper. Eat. Oh my god, it just looks like poop. Poop on a pooper. Oh, it's all colorful. Good. I thought it was just gonna be brown. I was gonna be like, what the hell? So, I want to- is that a coin boy? Coin! Okay. Neat. Get- get the fuck up there. <laughs> Not that far! Not that far! Well, I'll fight. I don't know, are you crushing on one of the dudes? Must level up, Pooper. I should name it Pooper. It's gonna take forever if I just do this.
See that. <clears throat> it's Mr. Shock, yeah, I figured. Yo? Are you a s- oh? Oh! That's what the sparklies are! Oh my god! Poison is a skull and crossbones? That's horrifying! Stop paralyzing my Pokemon. Would appreciate it. Thanks. This is just unfortunate. All right, I'm using a freaking ultra ball on this son of a bitch. I don't feel like it. Oh, nice. We just like fly. Fly somewhere. That's a new Pokemon, though.
fly here, I guess? No, I can't. Can I not? Fuck. Gonna save up for doodle requests? That'll be fun. Yeah. I'm like stuck. I'm in a- I'm in a hole in the ground. I fell off a cliff! And this is where I am! Where is- is that- I think I found it! I think- wait, item. I think this is it! I found it! I found the way out! Fuck that trainer. Just log out. I- I understand, but there was like a different ways to go and I have a poor sense of direction. These Pokemon are gonna be the death of me. What's, what is, is that? Is there a tiny thing? What are you? A rickety? What are you? Oh, it's just a small bug. This thing doesn't want to fight me either. Let me get away. Ugly Christmas sweaters. I went to find my way out of the darkness. <laughs> Hang on. First of all, I want to go here. Stop it. Stop it! Zoom me. Clicky. Set destination. Okay. I want the item, but I shan't. Okay. What? Who did? Oh, that's a different oricorio. Give me.
How dare you kill Pooper? It's Basta! Basta! Eventually this Oricoria will be at low enough health to catch. I'm having a very fun time. Graphically, there are issues, but I am having a fun gameplay experience. So very tired. How dare you get out of the Pokeball? How dare you? Let me try that again. I do not have the candy, possibly because it would spoil dinner. <laughs> if he just handed me a bag of candy right now. <laughs> Damn Pokeball. <gasps> shop it! Shop it! Shop it! I want the shop it! I want that shop it right now. But if he gives me the candy, then I'll eat it. <laughs> it is the. Gah! I want the shop it, Oricorio. You asshole. I have a mind that does murder you, but I've been through all this effort. Damn. Why are you being such a jerkwad? Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Damn it! Uh. I want to not kill it. Because I want to catch it. I went through all this hassle. Fuck this Oricorio. <sighs> get it to the red. I will get it into the red. Asshole! There. Ease. I only have one Pokeball for Shuppet. Also, I'm naming this Oricorio Butt Face.
But face has been sent to your box. Good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Excellent. All right, we're giving it a go. Yes! Chop it! I really want to use- I really want to use Shuppet, it, but I'm gonna be using Ghost Dog, so I shouldn't. Alright, out of my way, you freaking jerks. No. Please give me more Pokeballs. This lady. <laughs> I want over. <laughs> Jerks. I want to hit a tree. There are no Pokemon in the tree. Oh, what that? Oh, what that? <laughs> Let me down. <laughs> Let me down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like the shortcut.
Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Who are you? The name's Clive. <laughs> oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Sen? I guess. Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm all the way here. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history, and that's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of these squads has its own base. You should, be able to, you should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah yes, I can see from over here. On the other hand of those- On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Sen. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Sen. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base, drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, what about my rural? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as sense support. You're a cautious one. All right, I'll respect that. I'll be in touch again with the plan of answers to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Sen. <laughs> Director Clavel. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student, just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> Hello, fellow kids! Lord. I'm gonna need some water Pokemon for this. It's time to get a Zoomerill back out. Where is my Pika Blue? There's Pika Blue. Pika Blue. How do you do, fellow kids, indeed? I will put Flaffy away. Oh, I want to evolve Flaffy. Damn. I don't know who to put away when I want to evolve them all. Eh, I guess I can just not evolve Flaffy right now. I need Pika Blue to like lead me through this area. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Loading screen. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. The base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, I'll have to come at you in self defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. 
Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Why are we so far away from each other? It might be too hard in there for me. I might not go in there, actually. Level 25 Pokemon? I mean, I could handle it, but I would need more than one water type. I mean, I am leveling Cheetle. Cheetle might help me if Cheetle levels up. I think I could squeeze my way through. I have potions and revives and shit, I don't know. Are you that kid that declared war on Team Star? Yeah. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news! Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew! Hey, Sen! Cassiope had told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but seems you're all set. No, oh, I want that. Is that baby? I like baby. I want baby. Is that you, Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Do you know this little fella? That's exactly what I would say. This is Charlos, the Char Cadet. Cadet! I loved- I didn't know that they had lower forms! They're so cute! I want one! He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Charlos, wait! You ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, son. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Station inside the base is Team Star's fire crew. Their boss, Mela, is best all-arounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep her fury under control. This means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Sheeter squad off the map. Yeah, he's literally the, like... The old man director of our school. So he's he's literally like, how do you do, fellow kids? <gasps> Pokemon. I want to catch them. <gasps> Is that the evolved form of LeChonk? Oh? There's an evolved form of LeChonk? Pardoon? Come here. Come here, you. Oh my lord, it's just like a, a sassier pig. They look like an Animal Crossing character. Like Suey. Like Suey, the Animal Crossing character. How dare you use Dig when I want to stun for you? Stop evading my stun spore. This thing must be fast. This thing must be so fucking fast. Stop trying to dig. It won't do anything. I'm part flying. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my lord. Finally. I 
think I, I gotta switch to something that can actually punch it a little. Let's see. <sighs> My whooper! My pooper! Nothing can punch it. Mildly upsetting. Let's see, uh... Is it ground? It might be ground. I don't want to kill it. <laughs> Maybe Water Gun won't just one-shot it? I mean, we're like similar levels. Water Gun isn't that strong of a water type move. Is the wrong thing. Okay, maybe it's not ground type then. Is that deerling? I want deerling. dare you This Pokémon is actually kind of nuts. It's super fast even when it's paralyzed and it can take a goddamn hit. Finally! I need a heal before I try to catch the deerling. <laughs> Actually, I can just use Palmy for the deerling. I mean, why would you do Leech Seed when you can just use Absorb? Let's see. It entrances female Pokemon with a sweet alluring set that wafts all over its body. Jesus Christ. Okay, slowly, uh, getting the Pokedex rolling. I will try to catch these Pokemon with Palmy. Palmo. I forgot it's not Palmy anymore, it's Palmo. What moves does it have? I'll look in a sec. I just want to catch the Pokemon. Yeah, I'm really tired. Two nights in a row, I kind of cut my sleep short so I could go to bed at a decent time for tomorrow. I just got a thing tomorrow. Oh, okay, let's see. First of all, First of all, it is the evolved form of Lechonk. This is Lechonk. This is Lechonk's moves. Okay, now we can look at it. 
evolve form. And the evolve forms moves. It's just normal type still. I thought it would be like park ground, but I guess that they already kind of did that. They already kind of had a lot of like normal ground Pokemon like that. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Tired. <sighs> okay, I need the Deerling. Wherever the Deerling went. Where did the Deerling go? Did I lose the Deerling? I need this burb. I already have a rookity and I need this evolved form. Pomo, I'm yawning so much my jaw hurts because I have arthritis. There we go. Okay. My deck's really is rolling. Ah, leave me alone. Get out of here, Rickety. I need to heal! Ooh! Give me a Lechonk! Okay. 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 This is Stane. Oh, coin boy. Coin. I kind of want that Stane. Stane, whatever. But I'm gonna. I will return. What the fuck is that? It's so tiny. What are you? Tad bulb. 
Catching Pokemon truly never ends. Oh, I want dinner. <laughs> I want dinner real bad. Oh, I'm hungry. All I want to do is defeat the base, and then I will stop streaming for the day. Might be a while if I keep going. I want this Pokemon. I want this Pokemon. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, Tadbulb looks like a really good Pokemon. <laughs> it looks really good. Oh my god. That's a good Pokemon design, I think. Whoa! Cyclodon! Hello! I may be paralyzed. But, that's fine. Whoa! Shit. Whoa! Topped it out so you wouldn't feel sad! No! It has shed skin! Shit. Go get him, Sprig. Okay, I should have bit. Bite, bite, bite. Honestly, I'm gonna try to catch it already. <laughs> on. Come on, buddy. Get in the ball, bud. Yes! Let's go. I gotta heal again. Oh boy, a raid! Eh, it's just a Starly. I don't want to fight.
fall off. Thanks. Oh, leave me alone. I think I went the wrong way, too. Hang on, let me run. I got all confused. Damn it. Stop. Ah. Leave me alone. That's a lot of swipes. Thanks, I'm like over the water a little. Oh, hi, it's the deerling. I just ran into a bunch of deerling, I guess. Look at them prancing around. They're so cute. Look at them prance. Yeah, okay. Be like that, I guess. Perfect. No way it does like a buck kick. That's so good. It's like an accurate animation for the type of animal it is. It's really good. Is that Tauros over there? Damn, I gotta catch all these Pokemon, dude. It's the deer. Aww, they have a cute book book cover. Oros. Okay. Pokeball, Pokeball, Poke, Poke, Pokeball. It do be a regional variant. You know it's not a regional variant though. Wiglet. <laughs> Freaking Wiglet. Toros Cheerio is only here to uh, use Stun Spore.
Da 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 da. Whoa, baby. I didn't like it. Bro, you have low HP and paralyzed. What do you want from me? This thing's just pissed off, I guess. Oh, wow! Oh, why? Oh, shit! Jesus. <sighs> Chills. I'm sure you won't die to like a mud slap. Okay. I think my whooper would die if anything else happened. I just wanted it in the red. I don't know if that even helps. It would be nice. In the red. Nice. Oh, baby. All right, we only have Pokeballs now. guy hates me. Jesus Christ, all okay. right. Okay, okay. We'll keep tempting fate. So close. I'm sad. Sad. Dies, we're running. Holy 
I went through like almost all of my Pokeballs. <laughs> oh, Lord. This kind of Tauros, known as the combat breed, is distinguished by its thick, powerful muscles and its fierce disposition. I felt it! I felt its fierce disposition! Oh, my Wooper's evolving. <gasps> what? Oh! Claude, sire! Oh my god! He's beautiful! He's beautiful! <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna evolve into that! Holy shit! It lives at the bottom of ponds and swamps and will carry Wooper on its back and ferry them across the water from one shore to the other. He's- he's gorgeous. Oh, He's fucking gorgeous. Now let's not learn amnesia. Holy shit. I didn't know he was gonna turn out so beautiful. Oh my god. I <laughs> learn what? Nice, nice. I see what you did there. Ah. Oh. Wow, he's a he's baby. He's a beautiful little baby. <laughs> All right, we gotta evolve something else. Oh yeah, Wiglet. I wanted to show you Wiglet. Look at this bitch. It's not even a Diglet. <laughs> it's just Wiglet. <laughs> it's not even a regional variant. Evolves. I should check. I'm sure if it evolves, there's a space for it in like the Pokedex. Ah, Pokedex. Yo, my Dex is coming out good. Uh, I need to evolve the Spider. I think that's an evolve form. Yeah, that's definitely evolve form. The Spider. <gasps> Claude, sire. He's so lovely. <laughs> oh. You'll love to see it. Where is that going? Oh yeah, I was looking for Wiglet. Oh, yeah, it definitely, it definitely evolves. I'm sure it evolves. Okay. Okay, we like for serious need to go do the base. What program do you use to edit? Um, can I admit this on live stream? <laughs> I'll, I'll DM you. I'll DM you. <laughs> Let's see, where are you? There you are.
Okay. Uh, what am I doing again? The base! The base! I need to go to the base! I need to stop catching Pokemon! And actually, for, for... I know I know, I said I need to stop catching Pokemon, but I do need to buy more Pokeballs! <laughs> ah! I jumped. Oh yeah, I forgot! I need to... Check. I forgot I could also get the, like, flying Pikachu. My pre-order bonus... Wasn't Pokeballs, though. I don't think I get Pokeballs. I got my pre-order bonus because of the country I live in and the store I bought it from. It was a Pokemon card pack, and honestly, I'm down. I'm down bad for Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't opened it yet. I thought I would make a funny YouTube short, but I don't know if I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, uh... Alright, I can buy with League Points! Right... League Points, bitch. <sighs> okay. Got some Pokeballs. Um. I have seven revives. That's good. That's good. I think I have enough potions and revives to go and handle them. I'm not getting distracted by that Stain A being there, okay? I'll get Stain A later. Even though I love catching Pokemon, and I love completing the Pokedex. Okay. While you're here, Bright, how do you change your phone? Your phone uh, case without, because I know you can change it when you buy a new one and it asks if you want to switch to it, but where do you go to change your phone case, like, when you already have some to switch around? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, like, have a bunch of phone cases, but I only, like, found how to switch when you like buy a new one it asks if you want to switch to it immediately and i can't find where to like switch them around normally i thought like i could go in the bag and i was like oh maybe i like go to it but then it's just use this item and then it's just you can't use this item <laughs> so i was just like okay D-pad left? Let's go! I didn't even know there was like different uniforms. Yo. I wanted to wear pants. Thanks, I wanted to wear pants. I don't like how they have suspenders, though.
Okay, this is probably better. I am so knowledgeable in this game, I played 10 minutes of... Lol. I bought these, like, 6,000 Poke Dollar Seekers because they look sick. <laughs> ah, here we go, my phone cases! Look at them! You get- you get phone cases from playing the previous games, so this is the ARC phone case that's inspired from Legends Arceus. This is the ball guy case if you play Sword and Shield. This is the poke edge case if you did the Diamond and Pearl remakes. And this is the Let's Go case. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I want lavender. Although the poke edge is cool. I kind of like the Sprigatito one, too. I don't know what I want. I'm going with Lavender. Have a good day and or night. I'm just gonna finish this base. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't know, it's like 8, 8 for me? I don't know, 7.30 for me. Game Star is a unique way of doing battle, they call it Star Barrage. The R to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. Pardoon? Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal their Pokemon too, so stay sharp, Jesus. <laughs> Even ones that aren't in the game, that would be good. I'm trying to get food, hang on. <laughs> food. Give me food. I'm drooling because I'm hungry. Ow. Um. Okay. Some kid has wandered in thinking that she can raid our base. Let's teach her a lesson she won't forget. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Where's the heal?
More Pokemon, more Pokemon, more Pokemon. Let's go. You're the dupe who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Threatening. I'm really nervous. I'm under leveled for this. I love it when it spits fire back into my face when I'm driving, yeah. Bro! What the hell? This isn't doing shit. Why is this flame wheel so hard? God. Well. Pokemon, let's go, Wiglet. Gone. I'm gonna stun it. I'm gonna stun it, boys. It wasn't worth it. She's been feeding this thing steroids, for God's sake.
Sacrificing Wiglet. This is pretty dramatic. Oh? I have to fight her fucking... Car? I have to fight her car? Pardon? Pardon? Is her car a Pokemon? Or is it like I have to beat up her car? <laughs> what the fuck? What? I'm sorry? It used overheat? Pokemon? I'm confused. <laughs> she ran over your Pokemon, yeah. I'm sure I could cheese this. I'm still sure I could cheese this. By, you know, revives and potions and shit. It's time to sacrifice Choodle. Okay. 
I'm cheesing it. Hang on. I love that it uses Screech. I love it so much. Let's go! I like how I revived Sprig just for backup in case Pika Blue died again, then I could sacrifice Sprig again to revive Pika Blue. <laughs> Is this how it's gonna end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I might actually get a bunch of Char Chars Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough power to, to power the Starmobile and finally get the hunk of metal rolling. Glad, glad tidings indeed, is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. I'll shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orty. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a Shirley attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although I guess you're not wrong to say that her attitude is what people know her for. Well, come on, not you too, Aerie. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What well, praise their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm stoked. The thrill's burning me up right now. Selhawk! I'm like stopping soon. <laughs> I've been going for eight and a half hours. <laughs> I burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Azumarill of yours really let us have it. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. Beating me in a battle is a huge deal. So here, take it. The star badge. Be proud of yourself. Did she smack me? Oh no, she's like hell like shaking my hand and like gripping it. <laughs> That's horrifying. While I'm having you can have the while I'm at it, you can have this TM too, and not like I'm gonna use it. Yeah, as soon as I get a fire type. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Azumarill. Do that what you came here for, and I'll leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? A Char Cadet? Wait. Well, if it isn't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Charles. <clears throat> I mean, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? If say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? Yeah, because the Azumarill will use Flame Charge. I know, right? First of all, first I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. 
Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. We never used it before. And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me, the rest of Teen Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. They're not actually bad people. That's unfortunate that we have to kind of ruin everything that they were doing. <laughs> and it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, didn't she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Sheeter squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. How about your reward? I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work over there, so much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there to give you some materials for making TMs. Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of the tight spot by the school stairs. Uh, I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as a part of my independent study, you know. As a, uh, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. I'm pretty sure she's Cassiopeia. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out a, one of Team Star bosses. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. So, um, good luck. Woo! I did the thing. My Pokemon are very dead. Do, 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 do. All right, I did one of each thing. I did a gym battle. I got one of the herbs the guy wanted. And I uh, beat one of the bases. Oh, even though I was under leveled. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really uh, cheesed it. Woo, thanks for being here, everybody. I had a really good time. Uh, a good eight and a half hours. <laughs> um, I plan to only do, like, gym battles and stuff, like, on stream, like, story stuff on stream. So when I'm not on stream and I'm playing the game a crap ton, it's gonna be, like, Pokemon stuff. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, everybody. Have a rest of your day and or night. Bye-bye!